This video deals with three topics. First of all, how to look at different page layouts. Secondly, how to search for symbols. And thirdly, some help that the program can give in helping students distinguish between verbs and nouns. This is a document I created earlier. It has three pages. And I can view it in any one of three different ways. If I scroll down now, I can gradually scroll through the whole document, but between pages there is a break. This is page 2, and this is page 3. If we go to View, Page Layout, we are currently then in Page Break View. If I switch to Continuous View, the only difference now is that we go from page to page without any space representing where the page break would be. So this is a continuous document. We don't really know where the breaks would be in that document, except for the fact that I've written these in previously. The third way of looking at a document is to go to Print View. And Print View has one page per screen. So when I scroll down now, I only scroll down to the bottom of the first page. To navigate through the pages, I can then use icons like this. This will move forward a page to page 2, and I can scroll through that to page 3, and backwards to page 1. I'll go back now to page layout and page break view. You'll still see that these icons work. They take me towards, move me through the pages. But if you really want to use these icons sensibly, then you really need to be in print view. And then they're viewed one page at a time. You can also view how you see these pages, what magnification you see them at. So if we go to view now and zoom, there's various levels of zoom. But the two most common ones that we use are fit to width, which is how it's set at the moment or fit to space. If I go to fit to space, then we'll see what the whole page would look like, which is quite useful if you've got a page and you want to see what it will print like. And we can then use these icons to go through those pages. So we have different views of the document and simple ways, particularly when we have a print view, of navigating through those pages. We'll go to a new document now. And the next thing we're going to look at is finding symbols. Finding symbols might be useful if you want to use a symbol as an actual graphic rather than uh, illustrating a word. It might also be useful if you want to find alternatives to a word, but mostly you'll probably want to use to find a symbol to use it as a free graphic. So I'm going to type in here, right at the bottom, find symbol. I'm going to type today find the symbol. I'm going to put it in the document as a graphic. So I click here, put it in the document. It's arranged to be centered. Don't forget we can have it left, right, or centered. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. I've made it come out a little bit uh, the wrong shape. Remember you can double click. And then I'm going to type underneath it. So this is today. What am I going to do today? I'm going to go to the shops. Then we might want another symbol tomorrow. What am I going to do tomorrow? Find that symbol. Again, I'm going to use it as a free graphic. Put it in here. I want it to be centered. Make it about, scroll down a bit, make it about the same size as the other one. And tomorrow I'm going to visit Tom and Alice. So it's quite useful to be able to find symbols when you don't particularly want to use them uh, to support words, but you want to use them as free graphics within the document. 
The third thing on this miscellaneous video, which starts another new document, is to look at nouns and verbs. So I'll type the lion ran and chased the zebra. I like this and make it a little bigger. Now, if we want to see what words in that sentence are nouns and what words are verbs, we can go to text, show parts of speech, and we can either use nouns or verbs or both. If I click on nouns, then any word that's a noun will be changed to be blue. If we go again, text, show parts of speech, verbs, anything that's a verb will be changed to red. So we can read this document and see that the lion ran and chased the zebra. Lion and zebra are nouns and ran and chased are verbs. The program gets this right most of the time. But in complex sentences it can get it wrong, but generally speaking children will be interested in knowing the difference between nouns and verbs in fairly simple sentences.